You know, we also have um, Mar- Marquise uh, Harris Dawson who have had the seat now for the past eight years, you know, uh-huh. as city council member for District 8. Um, what makes you better for the job, you know, than him when he has been running it for so long? Okay, well, my first question would be, over the last eight years, has South LA got better or worse? Worse. <laughs> I mean, I, I got to be real. Sorry, Marquise. I, 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 right, let's just be asked me the question. No, it's a real you question, know, right? My family, you know, in, 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 the, in the city, you know, so I see what's going on every day. You know, so I got to be real. It's worse. I'm sure the streetlights were working when he got in. I'm sure some of these things that seem, you know, we didn't have a homeless crisis when he got in. I'm sure we had affordable housing when he got in. So, you know, I don't, it, it kind of leaves me, you know, dumbfounded when, they, when, when you know, I know it's a, it's a good question. It has to be asked. But yeah. it's almost like the results of what he has done is so bad. You know, I... I I don't want to insult him, but I almost feel like you know, I don't know. My niece could do better or something. Cause we, what do we got? What do we got left to lose? Yeah. As far as the South LA is concerned, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, I mean, all we get is a uh, movie in the park every now and then, or you know, you know, just small trinkets. You know, even at the events, he doesn't show up. He he puts his tents up and you know leaves. You know, or wow. whatever else. There's no there's no community engagement. There's no like. Finding seeing him in public is like seeing a unicorn. And so if you're that disconnected from your constituents, you know, and you don't really want to be around them or hang around them or, you know, be involved with them, like, how can you represent them? I can promise you after the election, win or lose, I'm still going to be at the King Day Parade. I'm still going to be at the Merck Park. Y'all say, what's up? It tastes the soul. You'll still see me. You know, like all of the, the normal events that we have around L.A., because I'm part of the community, I'm still going to be there. I'm not, like, yeah. running and hiding, you know. So, um I just don't think at this point that maybe it's just been, you know, too far along. Maybe he's been in office for too long and it's just um, he's lost the passion. But, you know, when I look at him, I don't see a passion. You know, I don't see the passion for the community and the passion for the job that I think is needed to fix our problems, let alone the fact that they have all gotten worse. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um, the debate that, you know, you and Cliff just, you know, had a little while ago, that was the first debate in over 10 years. Right. Can't even really recall the last debate, right? Right. You know, so this was a big moment. You know, why do you think Mr. Dawson didn't show up for that debate you and Cliff had? You, do you feel like he believed he had this in the bag? Like, what are your reasons on why you think that he didn't show up? Honestly, uh, you know, I know we, you know, it's always we on podcast, but you got to speak honestly. I'm still going to speak honestly. Yeah, yeah, keep it real. Um, you know, I've seen his, I've seen how he's welcome in public. And it's not, it's not well, you know. Like I remember going, I went to the Rock the Bells event, which is an event they had on on uh, 54th, you know, going down 54th between Crenshaw and Van Ness. And a lady got up in the crowd and started cursing him out while he was on stage. Wow. You know, and to the point to where he couldn't continue to talk. And, you know, and it's a lot of, it's like, it's a lot of angry reception. Um, you got to keep, keep in mind, we lost to Crenshaw Mall. We don't have a, a grocery store on Slauson and Crenshaw. You know, uh, Rite Aid is pulled up out. Like, we're losing things, right? Yeah. So what do you think his reception is like? <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Terrible, right? And so I think it was. I think he was, you know, I think he's, you know, even for him to be campaigning, um, I see his tents out. I don't see him out. Yeah. So he's, I think his plan is to win off a of name recognition that, okay, well, even if you don't, if you're not aware, at least if you see my name, but he's, he's not going to show up anywhere um, where he might, you know, get mobbed by the people, you know, yeah. in my opinion. But, yeah, I think that's my, my biggest challenge in this is getting my name out enough to where, you know, my name is recognized. Um, I don't think it's a matter of our records. I don't think it's a matter of my ability or anything like versus his or anything like that. I think it's just, you know, people that are going to go in that box and just check a name not knowing who is who. Yeah, yeah. And those are the people that I'm trying to reach so they're just not checking random names. Definitely. And talking about, you know, a, a lady getting up and, you know, uh, uh, you know getting loud, yeah. yelling or whatever. <laughs> he should know black women don't play. No, they don't play. You know I'm, like, I'm not playing with them. <laughs> they not playing no games, you know. I'm not, so, I'm not playing with so them. So that's guys, when you no. know, hey, something ain't right. Something ain't right. You know, because you know? they not going to sit down. No. They going to let us know let when we know. not. Hey, as men, they going to let us know when we ain't moving right. Gatekeeping. Keepers. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Keep us in line. That's what we need our black queens for. Yeah. I appreciate them. Yeah.
My son keep twisting. Heavyweight flow. You not in my division.